Ninja Hero. Boo is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Boo greet cheek with hand. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. Seen too much to believe destiny has taken our side. Blind luck, perhaps. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps, than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Weklaren? The Weklaren, wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. There is no higher title nor deeper bond in all of Rashomar custom. Weklaren? Minsk, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Boo agrees, you're a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. Oh. I fight alongside fools. You hear that, Boo? We fight alongside our Weklaren again. I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo?
might be useful. Anything of use? wooden mask with female features in the Rashemi style. If you need me, just say the word. There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. No matter. After all, a bond like ours hardly needs words to express it. What else is troubling you?
pleasure. Never a dull moment. On my way. This is more dangerous than I thought. Let's talk. What now? Is that blood? No, never mind. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Mind if I do? That might be worth a look. Uh, 
Uh, flowers are so overrated. They're bright, gaudy, and almost never make little poison. Wait for a time when she would stop needing. Each their own, I suppose. Although I am right. What you All this broadsheet coverage for one dead lord. It's exhausting. It might seem a bit ramshackle, but this place is a boast-worthy bar. A bar is only as good as its cellars. Which vintages can we expect to find on their racks? Here, a bottle is judged more by its ability to crack heads than the quality of its contents. Ah, that's the main criteria that I shall reset my expectations accordingly water it is seems like a good moment to talk ah you survived which means my employers are dead i take it no matter gives us a chance to talk Nine Fingers is done. My Zenterim stand ready to purge this place of everyone loyal to her. So all I need to know is, does that include you? Or not? You fail to see the bigger picture. Yes, they offered us money, but more than that, they offered an opportunity. The money is a bonus. The Zenterim have been trying to crack Baldur's Gate for years, but Nine Fingers' grip has been too strong. And look what it's come to. Her guild is disorganized, undisciplined. The cult broke them in a matter of days, while my Zenterim still stands strong. A guild under our control can do what Nine Fingers failed to, drive the Absolute out of the city once and for all. We're all on the same side. If there are spoils to be split afterwards, well, I'm sure there's enough to share.
Get going. A hero at heart. Looking ahead. Swift as my feet can carry me. What's up for discussion? Ready to do some business? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this up. Fine, Jump. Fetcher isn't himself, so let's just. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Sometimes stuff we sell. <sighs> Suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. You have done plenty. Do any more, and the guild might have to take a special interest in you. Understood? Great. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tap. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried-out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. You might have removed Gortash, but Orin's faceless are still circling. 
When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. We've crossed paths over the years. Two hands trying to steer the city. Just not always in the same direction. Oh, I can't stand Harpers as a rule, but Jir is the exception. She's only really half a Harper at most. The same way I'm not just the lowly thief, vagabond and murderer the Watch and Peers would paint me as. I happen to be a fine singer, too. Thieves, frauds and miscreants. If it's just the Watch warrants you're reading. The Guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the Watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the Watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. Clean water, filthy riches, and everything in between. We're citizens of the city. No more, no less. Right now, I'll settle for taking our city back. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? Bottom feeding bruises, I think you mean. <laughs> but it takes thugs to keep order outside the walls. The fists only go there for good, lawless fun. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Mm. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We'll find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolutes at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Victor isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me?
yours. No, you didn't. What are they? Give up now. I was following you, Kitty. You hear about Lord Gortash. It's all over. Let's move. Here goes nothing. She's too important to wait. Things have stayed interesting. Well, you better not be coming out of my wages. Bloody use. Very well. I hope you've come to make a lodgment, a city-sized one. And not even a whisker light. Gods, you're a boring bastard. Me too, I suppose. Because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. Oh, if I'd have known there was that much coin back here, I'd have robbed the place myself. <laughs> Just breathe. A good day to you, sir. I apologize, but Lady Janet is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me 
And I will ensure she receives them. luck. <clears throat> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. I assure you, absolutely nothing untoward is happening inside. Lady Janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse and has sent her staff on holiday accordingly. In ordinary circumstances, I'd appreciate her generosity more fully, but, well, I prefer to be here for when she changes her mind. Ordinarily, no. Though such generosity would not be out of character. But in this instance, I fear she has other motivations. Motivations I will not talk about. Yes, quite right. Heavens, what's the hold up? I dare say the wait is shorter in the city of judgment. in here. Don't touch me. There. Hardly a child. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's have a look. Waste a step. That might be worth it. I'll give it a shot. of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. Oh. Nothing important is ever easy. On the victor's path, no time to waste. The witching hour. Almost.
is your last chance to run. Don't be like that, darling. Offer our guests something to drink. Maybe your blood. If you have the courage to stay, help subdue him. But be careful. I could not stand to lose him. that I'm ungrateful for your help, but wait, your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before in Oscar's sketches. You're the one who saved him from the Zentarim. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought. But it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it, but I think you're right. Something supernatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. I used to be. Now I'm his wife. We married not a ten day ago. Things have changed rather a lot since then. I can't come within arm's reach without him trying to strangle me. And he calls me such vile things. It hates everyone, but it loathes me. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. I can't tell anyone about this. It was hard enough to keep it from the servants. I need someone to look into this quietly. It's the only chance he has. Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became withdrawn, working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't want anyone going up there. I swear it's in the walls, watching. Thank you. 
a strange easy. There's some kind of mechanism attached. Take the piggy bank, bitch! Burn her! Roast her! Bet I can crack that open. Portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. So why is the woman smiling? I'll take that. What's inside? something to ask. Did you find anything in Oscar's atelier? Oh, not him. Karen calls himself a spirit medium. His morbid services are something of a fad among the nobility. From what I've heard, it's invitation only. He has a mansion down near the water. A forsaken place, dank and decayed as he is. You must find mystic Karen. If he's responsible for this mess, he can bloody well clean it up. No one stopped me yet. Sitting around waiting for the gates to open. 
It's a really good paper, though. No spelling mistakes in it or anything. Thank you. My first sale. I can't wait to tell Mole. I don't like getting caught between the guild and the Zinterim. You always make enemies when you take sides in a struggle like that. And in this case, they're enemies we might not see coming until it's too late. Hardly the noblest conflict we've encountered, but criminals will have their squabbles, even in the looming shadow of utter annihilation. Dedicated to one lord, dead or Let's no. talk. Portash's estate is paying the mouth's printing fees. Flower and bloom as I knew you can. Behold. This tree is plagued by pestilence, yet refuses to die. The goddess Shantia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. I will cure you of your pestilence. You have no one. Set into the mansion's faded exterior, you see the faintest outline of a door an entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion. The door pulses with a heavy, melancholic magic. Whatever lies behind it concerns the living and the dead. You sense it waits for the right words. It requires permission to open. The door shudders. It has no choice but to let you inside. Mystic carrier. You do not have an appointment, yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. Ah, yes. You are drawn to me, a wanderer bearing the scent of death. You are familiar with the necromancy of Fae. I have heard the spirits whisper its name. Few books have the power to send a shiver through the living and the dead. Tell me, what did you make of its contents? You have not read it. Those with more sanguine natures are rarely attuned to the ethereal plane, or ready to receive its wisdom. Perhaps one day the book will reveal its secrets to you. Until then, they're best left between its covers. Unless you have any other business with me, I suggest you return to the domain of the living. The painter. Yes, I remember. He wanted to contact a tormented spirit. I gave him exactly what he desired. And for a pittance, given the complexity of his request, his inability to follow simple instructions is hardly my fault. If he wanted his safety guaranteed, that would have cost him extra. It 
It's quite simple. He requires an exorcism. I can provide you with the means to perform such a ceremony. But you understand. This is my livelihood. First, you must do something for me. Do not worry. It is of an earthly nature. It regards a conduit of mine, Thrombo, who has recently deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me. Then I will give you what you need to cleanse Oscar of his spectral interloper. My child, that would be asking the impossible. He is already dead. He is... Uh, what do they call them here? Ah, a zombie. A waif I rescued from the jaws of death and gave a second chance at earthly purpose. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. A simple errand seems no price at all, for the soul of your artist friend. Take time to consider my offer. If that is what you require, I'm sure Oscar has plenty to spare. Very strange so what exactly did you see? I don't rightly know, but I was up to that. Still breathing, despite everything. Walking funny isn't a crime. Would you throw one of them? Buy your papers here! All this broadsheet coverage for one day. Please, kind sir, can you spare a few points? Oh, what those bloody fish! God, never ends! Yes. <laughs> Tail for the ages. On my way. Come on, can't stay idle. Listen, listen here, here. Another step forward.
despite everything. Hey you! Behold! Elvis has This is my time. Thank you for cutting those creatures down, truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. More of those creatures. Not sure why they're attacking out in the open like this. How much farther can I go? Oh, gods! There's guts all over my boat! I'm done. I can't wait to see. I'd be using the smell of fish by now. That smell. Ugh. I think I've never had my fill of fish for the next few ten days. Having these things lying around is bad for business. I'll feel that one later. is unmistakable. Death, decay, despair. This must be Thrumbo, the runaway mystic carrion was so eager for you to retrieve. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. Mystic carrion? You're working for him? Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. He's the one you should be after, not me. You've met him. How can you need more justification than that? He, he murdered me. Murdered my friends. Snatched us right up from the dark side and, and made us these, these things. Monsters. Fit for gutting and in grinding and in, in desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. We ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I looked back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unarmed. We'd have to stop him resurrecting somehow. But I don't know how. Since Talus died, I've been watching Carrion, trying to figure out his secret, and... I think... I think he's a mummy lord. He as good as told me so himself. After Talus died, Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar. Said it contained the secret to eternal life. And if I behaved, he would share it with me. I, I think it was his heart. 
I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. I'm not sure, but in the house, beneath Carrion's salon, there's a chamber. He never lets anyone down there, so it must be hiding something important. Perhaps it's there. But be careful if you return to Carrion. He'll know you spoke to me. Make sure he doesn't see or smell you. He'll turn you into one of us, and he'll know I sent you. I don't want to die like Talis did. I want to live. Well, you know what I mean. No matter. This is still the safest place to hide. It's just bad luck I was discovered. I must be patient. My brothers need me. Time to rest. See their chances. Let's turn someone inside out. Making my move.
these days. It's very well. Feel their anguish. No gloom, all doom. Breathe deep and move. inside. the limbs not as bad as it could have very my gruesome sight a necromantic ritual perhaps this jar it feels like death itself a sure sign of necromancy at work simple No one back home will ever believe this.
It's almost poetic. to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form, the same that tainted mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. Gold first, then you can hit me. Carrion sent you. Shit. Don't think about trying anything. I'll fight back. Lower City Mortuary, established 1486 DR. Funeral rites, coffins, embalming. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any odours before then, treat the body with jasmine, Honey, circle, whatever you can get. Kill him, bull's blessings.
someone there? How oh, for a skeleton key? Slow down. to rest. You came back. Please, tell me you found a way to destroy Mr. Carrion. To destroy them. Get rid of every rotten part of him. Be careful, though. He'll know you did it, and he'll be really angry. You came back. Please, tell me you found a way to destroy Mr. Carrion. What? His rotten heart was inside of me this whole time. <gasps> Get it out. I have to get it out. That slimy bastard. He hid it in me the whole time. Please, take that foul thing and grind it to dust. use it seems best show some respect or some more cunning Fight back. Played at the ready. Stopped me yet. Well, hello. It's it <laughs> nothing but clay and mummy bits now. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Keep your distance, darling.
still alive, so that's progress. Another step forward. Please, kind sir. Can you spare a few coins to feed my son? He's sick and likely to die. Shouldn't he bless these rooms? An entire edition dedicated to one lord, dead or no, is a bit too much. Bet Gortash's estate is paying the mouse printing fee. destroyed what you have done can be undone though you will not live to see it perhaps a few centuries of servitude will enlighten you to the benefit of honoring your agreements Everything.
get too close. steps at a time. Valuable. And I will need it. Not now, Carrion's gone. I don't know how to do exorcisms yet, but feel free to look through Carrion's records. Perhaps you'll find something of use there. Yes. I think I'll pick up where Carrion left off. A city like this needs a medium. from Waterdeep. Careful, I bind. You have my attention. Let's 
get going. And those like us, exactly who suffered at the hands of the likes of Misty Carrion. is done for. No such Enter, if that is your wish. Personally, I would advise you against it.
did you speak with Carrion? Has he provided a cure? Then what are you waiting for? Do it! to put my hands on everything. myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist i wanted to be left in peace And how does that help me? Or is it just to help him? Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Beverus? Oh, my sweet Kerry. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal plane. to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Kerry, my sweet meat, I, I just need to know that what you did, that it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost. Dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. wants the truth, he can have it. 
We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad. All the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I... I was truly not to blame. No, you weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me! We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. I'm no fool. I know Oscar loved another when we met. But when we made our vows, I meant them. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Romance isn't for everyone, I suppose. Still, you brought us back together. And for that, I can't thank you enough. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Here he is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? No, 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 of course not. As an artist, I want to capture your true essence in this portrait. Bloodstains and all. Oh, of course, if you do want to freshen up first, I'm more than happy to wait. After all, it will be seen by generations to come. Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to 
capture the spirit in which it was created. A tad alliterative for my tastes, but who am I to judge? Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. Seeing one's face committed to canvas is its own kind of magic. Simple enough. I've got a long road ahead.
outflank, outsmart. Worth a try. In William B. does. Shh. <laughs> 
But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos will be sown from their passage. Corpses. to dribbles the clown. Gaudy display. This killer has a flair for the dramatic. I doubt this is their only masterpiece. steps defender of the people trust no one Someone's left a trap out for us. Traps. How considerate. seals this chamber against the world. The Baal amulet trembles in frightened awe. Murder. Bloody murder. Who else but Baal would these symbols honor? Will you return once you cross this threshold?
Gortash's corpse stain. His killer approaches. See how good I was? How patient while you drained the tyrant's juices for me. But Saravok's crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Oh, did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. Oh, your murder should have been exquisite. A crypt-born effigy to great Baal's bleeding dawn. And now it will be nothing. Come to me, Father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose. Swords meet sorcery.
think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades. You do not love. Come to me, Father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose.
chosen. 
the final stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. But such potential. You have done very well indeed. The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The drum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprison the brain. With the stones in hand and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. If memory serves, there are smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain, and we will end this. In death, through them, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. swiftly rectified to camp i will not let my guard slip again i swear by mother gith scion
direct me. Sharp as ever. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. The corpse regards you lifelessly. path 
lies before me. must be returned within a 10 day. It seems the Temple de Murder has a lending library. Be gone, before I set my teeth to your flesh. It is not in a Githyanki's nature to say, thank you. Our language doesn't even have a phrase for it. Kraith Khan Shan is the closest equivalent I know. May your enemies know agony. But after releasing me from Orin's grip, there is only one proper response. Thank you. Sincerely. Well, good then. Let's carry on. Good riddance to the shape changer. It couldn't have happened to a worse wretch. Orin was a monster, whatever her form. 
I suppose growing up somewhere like this would make a monster of anyone. Hells take that ball freak. She would have bled the whole world just for the fun of it. We've got her netherstone now. One step closer to getting the nether brain under control. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus' release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. Whatever happens next, be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible. Orin dealt with. Good riddance. Now that we have her netherstone, we're one big step closer to finishing this. Once and for all. Baal's chosen has been bled. May her torment be tenfold of that which she inflicted. The blight that was Orin has been purged from the world. And we have another netherstone also. A significant step towards stopping this evil once and for all. I would be lying if I told you I was certain we would walk out of that temple alive. We faced Baal there once before. And I was not ready to count on luck a second time. But luck had no part in it. Just you. That is both chosen beaten, and their stones wrested from their grasp. But, where they fall, the Elder Brain rises. It is already worming its way free. We must find it before it slips its color, whether we are ready or not. My friend, now we have settled the matter of the Guild. I fear there is something I must tell you. You and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. The same one man. And that same one man is Minsk. Please, my friend, your noble tears will not make the confessing any easier. I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now, the dung was within Minsk all along. So I wonder, if Minsk can be a villain, and Nine Fingers a hero. Must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? <laughs> Boo calls this nonsense. Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. Even though it led to evil ends? And even the true Jahira is not always right. She sometimes pets Boo a little too roughly, or denies him the breakfast broth so that I must dip him in the pot when she looks the other way. 
I begin to wonder if good and evil is not a thing of knowing. If it is sometimes a thing that Minsk must decide for himself. Alone. Which is why I'm asking you. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull, twisting my thoughts. But it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite! There is good and evil in all. Let us go crack villainy skulls so that the virtue might leak free! Yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? Then you have a sword at your side and a hamster at hand whenever you need them. Unless I die, or you die, or you do anything at all to upset Boo. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye or just a parasite poking through? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? Boo has a way with words that we lack. All that space in the cheeks, I am thinking. Pretends at nothing, half the way or otherwise. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. Oh, my friend, there is much more to know of Minsk's homeland than he could ever put into words. Boo might fare better, but his home is far stranger again. Well, in many ways, it is the very opposite of this city. The far side of Faerun, with empty plains, white forests, and peaks that pierce the very belly of the sky. But it is like the city, too. Here, it is loud with the daily wailing of people. In Rashomon, it is also loud, if you know where to listen. The Telthors, guardian spirits of every root, rock, and tree. Here in the sleeping lands they are silent, but in the far north they know how to speak still. The first time, my Dajema, a warrior's quest of proving. Minsk quickly proved that quests do not always go as the stories say. After wandering a ways, and some savings of the sword coast, 
Minsk returned to Rashomon to find a welcome fit for hamsters and heroes. The Iron Lord himself came to bear witness to Boo. Minsk of Rashomon, said he, your Tajema is done. Minsk politely disagreed. Dinah here was dead, and so his Dajema could never be done. Then swear your service to me, Minsk of Rashomon, said he. Serve your land as your lord's chosen champion. Minsk politely disagreed. It was a little awkward, but he had already sworn his service to Boo. Minsk of Rashomon, said he. You insult your iron lord. We will settle this matter in this circle of combat. It was only polite for Minsk to agree. After they carried the Iron Lord away, the Council of Witches gave Minsk a pack of provisions and said it would be best if he continued his adventures for a time. Yes, Boo, that was before we were stoned. Perhaps we are due a little homecoming when all of this is done, no? Because it is slow and stupid and sleeping. Ah, Bu says Minsk should phrase this in a kinder fashion. Telthors are the living soul of the land. They flit about, offering petty blessings to those who show respect, or playing tricks on those who do not. This is so in Rashiman, but not beyond her borders. Here, the spirits sleep. And perhaps we ought to be glad of this. In Rashiman, a Telthor is wind and snow and soil. In Baldur's Gate, it would be stink and stain and a far less pleasant type of soil. If my meaning is not clear, just check under your boot. The first time, my Dajema. A warrior's quest of proof. It af yes, boo, that was. The devil's stench lingers, but Will is yet a champion of the people. I had hoped he'd join me on the council, but he is his own man. I couldn't be prouder. Hells, for it. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worm's Rock Prison. She stood by me even as the Hell's fires lapped at my feet. <laughs> you must free her. Tremendous news. She proves as loyal to you as she is to me. I couldn't bear it if she died by my command. May the Triad guide her steps. I was returning from Elturel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest, to lay our heads. It wasn't the heat that woke me. It was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. I don't remember being taken. Just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. I awoke in Moonrise Towers, inside one of those damnable pods. The rest, well, the rest goes without saying. A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's High Overseer only for the Archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I've been touched by Avernus, been a plaything for demons, a tale for other places, other days.
else can it be? The man who raised the city's walls became an Alithid. You both know you owe your lives to me. I am not fallen. I am risen. We must make this a secret we carry beyond the grave. No name is more sacred to the city than Baldurant. When people think his name or see his likeness, they must imagine a hero. Not a horror. How misguided you are. The Blade of Avernus. How marvelous. It rolls right off the tongue. Tell me, little bug, who should Will's first target be? Yes, to kill the Absolute, to free the Infected, to end the Illithid Grand Design. Could there be a more heroic journey? But what about the next battle? And the next? How mighty will the stalwart blade be without warlock powers to help him? Tell me you haven't forgotten. Once the Absolute is no more, so is my aid. Well, perhaps I might pay a visit once he's settled. Offer some advice. A bit of infernal altruism, if you will. Ah, the thrill of the unknown. I can't wait to see how this epic plays out.
just help myself.
Still breathing, despite everything. Home of Lavernica, groundskeeper of Bloomdridge Park. Lover of birds, bees, and everything in between. Keep your distance, darling. in here. More for me. This body. The sacrifice or some kind of display. Judging by the state of the leg, this must be part of the clown. Seems simple enough.
in my heart. Soldier. You know I'm up for it, but your party's a little full. Let's hop. Trust no one. Give up now. Let's move. Something's on my mind. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Ah, oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites and his teeth are missing, but these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before, where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you. Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave. And I you, you delectable vintage. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. Again. We're lucky there's still decent folk about. Let's see us. what this does. To threaten the children. Stand a chance.
Summer doesn't like visitors. Watch your back. Someone's left a trap out for us. A trap? Someone doesn't like this. Be careful. There are traps. left a trap out for us. Someone doesn't like visitors. Someone's left a trap out for us. A crooked touch. has been converting toys into deadly traps. Very naughty.
This must be where he was making them. There's no shortage of evidence. There are traps about. A trap. Someone doesn't like this. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. now. In hells, you followed me all the way here. What could you possibly want with me now? What? How? Nine hells. D whatever you think, you know. I I I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. from me. It's not my fault. I was forced to do this. Framed even. 
They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. I can't tell you. I won't tell you. Would you keep it down? Or do you want to get us both killed? I'm no more in cahoots with Gortash than you are, which is to say I'm just as much under his thumb as anyone else in this city. If you've been there, you know more than I do. Now, will you please let me go? His plea comes with an offering, a pass granting you access to the lower city. What? No, wait! His plea comes with an offering, a pass granting you access to... You can't be serious. They'll find me. A cell won't keep me safe. They run this city. won't end with him. His people are everywhere. But I'll go quietly. Maybe I have a chance. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste? Heavens no! I'm just the humble proprietor, Avery Sunshall, at your service. Descendant of the great Fologia Sunshall. Well, you can call me Fologia if you like. Help spread the brand, see? Cheap coverage for one dead lord. It's exhausting. Employees only pass this point. You want to buy something? Talk to Mr. Sonshaw. 
I want to have a word. The pressure's steady. Have you tried the lamp? Or perhaps the delicate simp? Of course. Browse responsibly now. Remember, once it's lit, you commit. And if it's not a firework, do whatever you like. <laughs> steady, steady. Oh, no. Any spillage, and I'll be picking my teeth out of the water. Where's an apprentice when you need one? Tell us what happened. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintain temperature. Steady at the moment. Try and find At someone who can help you mind out. And then we'll get you something to eat. All right. And it can be anything you want, I promise. Help them. Dead. Shut up, would you? I'm going steady. I was looking a little rusted. No, no, no. Okay. Let's do that. I can't afford a failure on a critical part. Well, apprentice when you need one. Uh, not critical. Just a Done. bastard if it breaks. Eight won't blow us up. Ten. Good. Would you All fingers are tight. Still watch her. to come here anyway. We'd have better luck with a guild. Steady. That's Steady. The steel watch and the Any stone floor. The guild of barely got the strength to go after the rest things. We scheduled for mate. Where's an apprentice when you need one? Can't afford a failure on a critical Don't. pipe. Eight, uh, nine, not ten. Critical. Good. Just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow it up. Steady. Any spillage Are we at temperature yet? My teeth out of the roof beams. Maintaining what? temperature. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
ahead. <sighs> Yes.
is my happy place. Discharge. Sometimes the only way out is through. Still on my feet.
Over there. This is gonna feel good. Ah. Ah. I can't even catch my breath. from here.
up. I smell blood. Ooh, <laughs> ah. All right. Time to see what the horror is waiting for us. Okay.
Let's go. Nice. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Waste a step.
That'll fit in my pack. Light on my feet. dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Delicious, but I will not bite you. Ooh, more. 